hello everyone welcome back to flatter mystery it's been a very very long time and um i'm really sorry but um with this uh, i was doing it for all of us because i uh, i was trying to you know um build up the little that i know and then you know upgrade from that place to you know to a bigger height where we can share experience you know where i was i was just a beginner and um, I thought as much why not upgrade and then do something better so you know I stayed back relaxed and uh, you know worked on a whole lot of applications um, many many of them what e-commerce uber type a uh, store inventory so um, I'm done and I would love to share with you all these things that I learned and uh, today we'll start with um, the e-commerce app that I worked on uh, which I call the Bindu so I'll take you through and then we start um, from there we will work on the splash screen today and the next time we move on that so so that's what we're doing the full applications and I, I, I'll show you how it works so this is the Bindu app so let me take you through so when you click there is no white background before the logo it's just open street so I'll show you that today and then you can log in or just you get started so um, I have an account so I will go straight and uh, it logs me in automatically I don't have to re-enter my details again and I will show you all of that and uh, here is the application itself um, from the title to the cut and the cut counter to the search um, sliding banners this is um, from other categories here we have other banners the product another banner with some product so this is how the home page looks like you see and then when you go to the categories this is how my categories looks like it's just amazing some nice stuff so i i have worked a lot into this app so that you know we learn a lot so that um you guys to know and learn a lot from me like what i have learned so with all these categories and subcategories um, like this you can go through and when you press it should take you somewhere it will show you james category yeah hold up you come to my cart this is my card i have this in it i have others pass others in them i have one so i can check out i can check out like this i can use my old addresses or i can create another addresses i can use new addresses which will request for my um location so when i allow it, it will generate my address here so it will show where i am here the person does not need to type the address again but i'm not adding a new address you can use the old address that you save and to bring you here this is what you get so um it's a nice application and then when you come to my account you see your picture here your email your name your balance your orders you can edit your profile it, it the app has a whole lot of stuffs in them a whole lot of stuff that i'll be taking you through one after the other so that you just understand and when you click on the product it takes you to the product details page and here you can still you know see your products or you can add the product to your cart as you want so now it's counting to item added you can select size the quantity choose your size your description this is how it is here a whole lot anything so any feature that an e-commerce app will have this app has so if you come to your search bar and here if i want to search for jeans i press j it should give me jeans and uh, when this is how it is this is how it is so and i show me brass and yeah so um i hope you enjoy this video so let's quickly step in it and then move on thank you all right so i have just created um a new application and i call this application bindu just like what i showed you bindu app yeah because i don't want to create uh, any other any different application again because i'll be using the same logo and stuff i don't have to create it again 
um, I know by now we can all create new projects. Yeah, this is just a new project. I haven't even run and test, like see how it, it goes. So let, let's quickly run and then see how our app looks like. So the app is running now. You know, the first time it, it will delay. So yeah, it takes it takes time because it will be downloading some Gradle files and stuff. So it really takes time. So let's wait for it. Okay, so I see it's finished installing. Okay, it's still installing. Alright. So let me hide this thing so that we can get enough speed. So our app is finally here and this is what we'll be using. Okay, so um what we'll be doing today is our splash screen. And this splash screen, if you should look at the new Bindu app, um, wow. you see the white screen that comes up. This, yes, that is what we will be using as our splash screen because it is that is the real splash screen, you know. But um, it's white. We can load this white thing before loading our main splash screen so we will replace an image with this white thing here all right so i have my logo created already i have created everything already yes because this time around i want us to move very fast so i, I will show you what I, I mean this thing this is my logo is very big let me this is the logo and I have placed the logo on a background that I, I love the color so much and the size of this thing is um uh, is 1400 by 2560 and it's able to cover um, every phone screen like to fit the screen uh, yes so that is what I, I am using I am going to use so I will copy that image i'll copy that what we will be doing is that you you should do the same thing you create the same thing and then you copy the image let me quickly copy the image from this side um house main okay so i have the image here i'll copy the image and then i'll quickly go to my android folder android app source main resource and then what i'm going to do is that i will paste the image here in all these nip map folders i'll paste the image there like this all right so now yes all right so now i have them i have the image with the logo and all these folders and then from there what i'll do is i'll go to my drawable here okay so this this is what is showing the white background this thing this is what i am um, android uh, flutter gave you as default so it's item android drawable and it's equal to android and then color white so what we're going to do is that um we will clear this thing the android um, drawable blah 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 we will first remove this oh let me see okay let's just remove that we'll first do that remove this Or we can let's take it off. 
because we also have it here all right and then we will use this so let's comment these things out and then clear this and now we have this so in the item here yeah, let's say android um we use gravity Android gravity equals to center all right so it places our image in the middle like in center it does not overflow or make smaller in it it just fix the image in there and then um what you add to this is this you will say android android layout width android the lay layout layout width w i d t h equals to you see if you match parent all right if you work when work with um javascript um android app you understand this and it's very simple and then from there the next thing is we will do it for the height too all right so we'll just copy this and then paste it here so this place won't be width but it will be height height and that one too will match for it and then here we will replace this name with the name of the image we put in the mitmap folder and that was the build shop I think C build shop C let me quickly check build yes dot png but here you don't add the dot png so we can save all and then um let's rerun the application again and then see what our splash screen looks like quickly today's um, video will be short i think and then from there we move on to the next page and this time around i'm going to be posting so this is what we have you see it picks the splash screen like that there is no white space nothing and this is what um a professional um art like professional app creator should be doing there shouldn't be anything like white uh as design you know this is nice so um today we are done with the splash screen the next page <coughs> and then in our next tutorials we will be doing uh, um the onboarding screen and then we'll go to our login screen and it follows up like that so um thank you for watching and please um this app i have the i have the app already so if you really if you need the the source code uh, i am really begging you um you know there is one thing that motivates us you know you spend a whole lot of time into you know trying to create something for all of you but um you watch the video you don't subscribe so this time around um when you subscribe you can send um you can send me subscribed to an email i'll leave um below the video yeah and i'll check if you did that i'll send you the full source code if you really need it yeah thank you i think this that is um what you can do to help me as i also help you with this so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and if you want the source code um just send me a source code or yeah source code or flutter mystery to the email i'll leave below Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye.